Prince William was traumatized because he was never told he would one day be king. A royal commentator asserted that the Prince of Wales has made an effort to ensure that his eldest son George has a better understanding of his future. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss anything about the British royal family. When Prince William realized he would one day be king, a royal commentator claimed that he was traumatized. The Prince of Wales' future was never explained to him as a child, according to Monique Jessen, People's Royal Correspondent. He was forced to come to this realization on his own, which he found to be troubling and traumatic. Ms. Jessen, however, thinks William has made it a point to prevent Prince George, who turned ten over the weekend, from experiencing the same thing. The young prince has risen further up the order of succession into the position William occupied his entire life up until last year, where the late Queen Elizabeth died and his grandfather ascended to the throne in May. When George was only three years old, William stated in an interview that while his top priority at the time was to simply love him as much as possible, he would eventually explain to him where he fits in the world. In 2016, he stated to the BBC, there'll be a time and a place to raise George and comprehend how he fits in, in the world. But for now, all I can do as his father is to maintain a safe, secure environment around him and to love him as much as I can. Miss Jessen assumes William and Kate, Princess of Wales, have spoken with their eldest son in light of this. She stated, I believe George is now aware of his destiny on the Royally Obsessed podcast, which was broadcast on July 20. That conversation has undoubtedly taken place, in my opinion. We have seen him perform solo at quite a few engagements, so I believe it has by this point. He did some specific things with the late Queen and Prince Philip, and I believe there was a fine line to be crossed. They don't want to frighten him, but they also want to prepare him. Additionally, I believe William found it to be quite upsetting when he was simply left in the dark when he was an adult and everyone expected him to know. For George, he will undoubtedly want to take very different actions. In his 2019 documentary Paxman on the Queen's Children, broadcaster Jeremy Paxman recalled Princess Diana talking to him about her son's future and how he was unsure of taking on the top position. We discussed our children, and he said, she said William often told her he didn't really want to be king, and then Harry would say, if you don't want the job I'll have it. William was unaware of the full scope of what lay before him until he was hit in the face with the truth at school, according to Andrew Morton's 2011 book William and Catherine, Their Lives, Their Wedding. William honestly had no idea that he was any different from anyone else before he attended school, the royal biographer stated. His denial of his identity was quickly dispelled by other students, who had no trouble identifying him. On one occasion, a classmate reportedly asked him, Don't you know the Queen? William replied, Don't you mean Granny? as he took in his appearance. Unsurprisingly, Harry was quick to join his older brother's teasing. Harry firmly stated you can't, you have to be king when William once expressed his desire to work as a police officer and take care of his mother.